guys, what's up and welcome back to another newly released products that are totally worth the hype video. If you are new here to my channel, basically I film one of these each month because there are so many new releases in the beauty categories, you know, foundations and lipsticks and skincare and everything. And it can be really, really overwhelming to know which of these products are actually worth it and not all just marketing scamming. Basically, <laughs> things always look really good in the ads and on Instagram and then sometimes in person, not so much the case. <laughs> I actually got some really, really cool products in this month's edition and some stuff that I'm really, really hyped about myself that I've just been loving and I'm really excited to share with you guys. So I hope that you are interested in hanging out with me and checking out five newly released products that are totally worth the hype and totally worth the money. Now, of course, if you are new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and let's jump straight into the video. All right, so first up off the list, we actually have this brand new primer from Too Faced. I was a little bit cynical about this one because it is marketed as a poreless kind of primer. You guys know that with my oily skin type, usually, you know, primers that are very, very heavy and sort of silicon type textures just don't really work for my skin. Yeah, sure. And I mean, I do have really textured skin and sure they smooth out the texture, but then foundation just doesn't seem to last on top. That has not been the case with this one. I have really, really been enjoying this one. Uh, I also really love that it's skincare and primer, like it's skincare and makeup all mixed into one product and it smells like actual heaven. So this is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pore Banishing and Blurring Face Primer. I do have to say it definitely does do, you know, those things that it does claim to do. I definitely find that it smooths out the texture of my skin and creates a really smooth canvas for my foundation to go on top of. But at the same time, it's not, too slippery it's not too smooth it's not too like you know that texture that I'm talking about and then like it looks fantastic but then once your foundation's on it basically slips right off and it transfers really easily well this primer gives me that really nice smooth texture and smooth finish and smooth canvas but without actually affecting how long my makeup lasts. It's absolutely beautiful on the skin. Now, like I said, this one is loaded with skincare ingredients as well. It's got hyaluronic acid, which I love, a gentle form of retinol for anti-aging, vitamin C, vitamin E, and it does really like it instantly reduces those pores. It's also got mattifying properties in this, so it helps the skin to stay matte as well. Just a really, really beautiful primer. As far as texture-wise goes and what it sort of looks like. It kind of looks like a little bit of a lotion. Can you see that? Hopefully you guys can see that. And then when it blends into the skin, it just completely like really, really perfects the area, really mattifies the area. And it just makes it so beautiful and soft and smooth, kind of a little bit tacky nearly on the skin. And it smells amazing. Like orange, citrusy, something citrusy. I would say if there was another primer that this one was similar to, in texture and feeling on the skin, it would be the Tarches Liquid Silk. It's just, it's honestly beautiful. I've been loving using this, really, really happy with how it's wearing. Um, just an awesome, awesome primer. Totally, totally worth the hype. All right, next up, I've got a brand new product to show you from Deck of Scarlet. If you've been following my channel here for a while, you guys will have heard me talk about Deck of Scarlet a lot. I have been working with them for years. I'm a very, very proud partner. So thank you to Deck of Scarlet for sponsoring today's video and for continuing to I don't know, align yourself with me. <laughs> I did actually create a palette with them a few years ago. They did also do an eyeshadow that was named Nikia Joy, which was so cool. They were limited edition though, so they're no longer available. But yeah, it's a brand that I've worked with and loved for years. Now they have just released some really, really cool products. And since using these, I've kind of been like, why has nobody done this before? So these are their brand new mist. It's like a little bit of a play on words. Mistake proof uh, bronzers and blushes. These are freaking awesome. Basically what what these are are very thin and lightweight liquid bronzers and blush formulas and basically you sp actually spray them like it, it mists out in like a spray you spray them onto your brush and you then apply them I think that these are absolutely awesome so obviously you guys know that I talk about products all the time that are that sort of like gel to powder texture that give color to the face and give you know beautiful luminosity and like blushes and stuff that give color to the cheeks but without actually adding texture like it's just, it's nearly like you went on Photoshop and you added color onto the cheeks. That's basically what these achieve. We all remember the airbrush machines and airbrush makeup. Really, really like seriously looks perfect on the skin. And I even had, I have like an airbrush machine somewhere here in this house. I'm not sure where it is, but I do have it somewhere. But it's such a pain in the bum, honestly. It's this whole machine and you've got to, 
Oh, it, it takes basically forever. Well, this gives the same finish and the same effect on the skin, but it's really, really quick and simple to use. I love these. So this is what the packaging looks like. They're actually really quite luxe glass bottles. Now the bronzers come in four different shades and the blushes come in six shades and they're just so freakishly lightweight on the skin. I will pop a clip, like an overlay showing you guys how I apply it, but it's actually like freakish. Does not emphasize any of my texture whatsoever. Does not add texture to my skin. It just this makes my skin and my cheeks look so glowy and radiant, but without caking things up, if that makes sense. Exactly the same way that airbrush makeup works. So basically all you do is you take the little bottle and you mist it onto your brush. You don't even have to use heaps like these go a really, really long way. And then apply it like you would apply a bronzer or a blush normally. They do make a little double ended brush as well, which is really, really soft and easy to use. But honestly, like you'll be able to see as I'm buffing this in. Look how glorious on the skin they are. Like it just adds the most beautiful color, but without adding texture and heaviness, like I said. Like there's nothing cakey about this at all. Also super, super long lasting. I have been testing these for five, four or five, oh no, probably five weeks now. Really long lasting on my skin. They don't like fade away and disappear as my oils come through. Just amazing for summer or for those of you that like products that look beautiful but you can't really feel on the skin they're just awesome so these are all 100 percent vegan and cruelty free also worth a mention these are also loaded with skincare ingredients as well very similar to that primer like i said they've got squalene in them a ginger root there's algae extracts in here just a lot of like really hydrating and moisturizing ingredients that make them really really nice on your skin and i think it's really cool to see like something a little bit different rather than you know just your standard powder blush and also like something that actually works i just love that airbrush to finish but nobody has time to unpack that airbrush machine honestly if you if you think that you've got time you're lying <laughs> so yeah just some really really cool products like i said i've had heaps of fun playing with these and i love the way that they look on the skin totally oily skin safe as well now deck of scarlet have given me like they always give me a code but if you are interested in checking out any of these just go and have a look on their website see what you think of them see your thoughts have a look at the color range uh, but if you are interested in picking anything up you can use the code nikia15 to get 15 percent off your first order with them um yeah just really cool different kind of products and also let me know if you want to see me use these products in a tutorial video would be totally happy would be totally happy to actually do like a demo like a step-by-step -step demo of them they're really really cool all right next up i've got some new lipsticks from revlon to show you guys and it's a funny i've never really been that much into like a really glossy sort of a lip until i tried those new ones from fenty well basically in a nutshell these new ones from revlon are essentially like the dupe to those beautiful uh, fenty i think they're called the slip shine ones I've spoken about them in so many videos. I love them. These are just phenomenal. Now, mine are a little grubby because I have been using them so much, but the packaging of these is really actually quite beautiful. They come in like a black tube. They've got like these little see-through like glass kind of looking bits. Revlon around the top in gold. And then when you actually get the lipstick out, it's like a gold bullet. And that there is what they look like. Now, these are just the most beautiful, hydrating, like melt on your lips. It feels like you're wearing a beautiful lip balm. Like they just, it's kind of like a cuddle for your lips. It's probably the best way to describe it. I absolutely love these. They come in a really nice color range too, but they're sort of like a sheerer formula. Can you see that there? And they just give the most beautiful, beautiful shine to the lips. They're gorgeous. Uh, this color here is Beaming Strawberry. I do quite like this one. Oh, I should actually tell you what these are called, shouldn't I? These are the new Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. They're so nice. Um, this shade here is number three glossed up rose really another beautiful color just so like look how gorgeous and shiny they are seriously nearly an exact direct dupe uh, for those Fenty ones that I've been raving on about for months um you can get the same kind of look but these are obviously a lot more affordable this one is love is on oh this one I remember this one this one's such a nice color it's like a beautiful berry red look how stunning they are gorgeous now from memory i feel like these had some really cool ingredients too let me just quickly check online mm, they smell really yummy too i feel like they've nearly even got like a bit of a, a hint of like a mint kind of a scent but oh yes here it is uh, infused with vitamin e and avocado oil super buttery honestly they are super buttery on the lips i love the way they feel they're just like i said they feel like a balm it's essentially kind of like a glossy tinted lip balm it gives a little bit of color you can wear these all day and not even feel like you're wearing a lipstick they're just so comfortable on the lips 
obsessed with the formula, so buttery, just, oh, they're beautiful. Trust me, if, you, if you've fallen head over heels in love with the Fenty ones, give these a go. They're literally exactly the same thing, the same finish. Uh, but a whole lot more affordable. All right, we're going to change pace a little now for the last two items. The last two items that I've got here are skincare items. And first up is this Nui from Tatcha. This is their brand new release. This is such a cool product. It's their new cleanser called the Rice Wash. Now, I haven't really used too many Tatcha cleansers. I know that they do do the cleansing oil and there's like the rice polish and stuff. I've never really delved too much into their cleansers, but this is absolutely beautiful. So packaging wise, this is what it looks like. It's a really, really beautiful tube. It looks gorgeous in the shower. Uh, and obviously because this is the rice wash, it is like sort of powered by rice enzymes as well as like their um, exfoliating rice powder, I think it's called. But I love how this feels on the skin. Now this is actually targeted towards normal to dry skins. It, they do say it can be used by oily skin as well. And definitely I can vouch as an oily skin type. I love this because this cleans my skin. Like it, it really gives my skin a beautiful sort of soft, gentle kind of a clean. It gets everything off. Like absolutely like all makeup, dirt, sweat, gets everything off my skin, but it cleans my skin without stripping it. You guys know that I hate cleansers that strip basically the moisture out of my skin. What ends up happening is I end up, and I mean anybody else with oily skin as well, if you strip all of the oil from your skin, you end up producing more oil and you end up getting more oily during the day. It works basically the opposite way to how everybody thinks that it works. This gives such a gorgeous, gorgeous cleanse, but like I said, without stripping the skin of that moisture. Now I've just got some info on it here so that I can explain to you because this is loaded with ingredients that are really, really awesome as well. Uh, vitamin A, vitamin B, B2, B12, and vitamin E. Uh, proteins, it's got red algae, ceramide, uh, brown algae, hyaluronic acid. Like there is so much stuff in this that's amazing for your skin. And I just love it. Like it gets like this really beautiful foamy cleanse on the skin. It feels like... It's like those lipsticks. It feels like a cuddle. Like it just feels so nice to use. That is what it looks like when it comes out of the little tube though. And then once it's mixed with water, it really, really foams up on the skin. It smells absolutely amazing. Like a day spa. Just, oh, I've, I've been really, really enjoying this cleanser. I think the Tatcha have done an amazing job and I'm just loving how my skin feels using it. So um, definitely a worthy mention in products that are worth the hype. I know Tatcha have been hyping this up on their Instagram for ages totally vouch for it. It just makes your skin feel so soft and hydrated and glowy and so clean, but without stripping it. Love this stuff. And then lastly, to finish off today's video, I have another skincare item and it is the new sunscreen from Shiseido. Now I'm not sure if this is like a hundred percent, like a brand new release or if they've recently like re rejigged it, redone it. Uh, this is the Shiseido ultimate sun protector lotion. Uh, Synchro Shield 50 S like 50 plus SPF. Uh, what? I'm pretty sure the actual name is the Ultimate Sun Protector Lotion. It's got lots of stuff written on the front there. I cannot believe, and I can't like I cannot really even begin to describe to you guys how nice this stuff is on the skin. So this is a sunscreen that can be used on the face and the body, and it literally melts into the skin, leaving no residue, no greasiness, no heaviness, no nasty sunscreen scent better than any sunscreen I have literally ever used it's amazing formula wise this is what it looks like and that's kind of like what it looks like on the skin before you rub it in seriously if you, what can I compare it to you know the Dermalogica uh, calm water gel moisturizer that I absolutely love you know that one how it's like a gel texture and it melts into the skin without leaving any stickiness or heaviness <laughs> If that formula can be in a sunscreen, this sunscreen is it. It is just beautiful. And it also makes my skin feel really softened and hydrated. And oh, I have been loving this sunscreen so much, you guys. It smells absolutely amazing. It doesn't have that, you know, that sunscreen scent. You've got to know what I'm talking about. And I know, like, I talk about sun protection all the time here on my channel. It is so important. Please make sure you are wearing your daily SPF. Please make sure you are definitely covering your face, your neck, your chest. You will regret it. Sun damage doesn't show up immediately, but once you're perhaps in your mid to late 30s, you'll be like, I should have been wearing a sunscreen. I should have been wearing a sunscreen. I promise you will regret it. And you just honestly would never even know it was a sunscreen. It's that lightweight on the skin. No residue. Like it doesn't feel sticky or greasy or have that awful sunscreen smell. It actually smells quite delicious. It's also got this Synchro Shield technology in it. Uh, they call it wet force and heat force. 
Basically, when it's exposed to heat and water, it increases the strength of it as opposed to, you know how normally a lot of sunscreens, when you put them on and then you actually go outside and sweat or go in water, it reduces how efficient they are and it reduces how well they work. That's not the case with this one. It actually strengthens how well it works. Just a really, really awesome product. Totally worth the hype. I, If you're after a good sunscreen, like if you haven't found one that you're obsessed with already, I really, really would recommend checking this out. It's totally worth the money. Just the most beautiful formula ever, obsessed with it. So there you go, guys. Those were five newly released products that, in my opinion, are totally worth the hype and totally worth the money. Uh, like I said, it can be really difficult to navigate all of the new launches, all the new releases. There's so much marketing, like everything is sold as being this life-changing product that you absolutely need. And then a lot of the time you get it and you're like, ah, oh, like, no. <laughs> so I hope that you guys are still really enjoying these videos. Please let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Have you tried these products? Do you love them? Do you hate them? I want to know all of your thoughts. And yes, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I love you all heaps and I will talk to you all in my next video.